you know, how great was it? Uh, well, first of all, how the role was played, uh, the fellow who played me, Bill Paxton, who unfortunately has passed away, uh, Bill was worried about playing that role because he said, I've never played a live person. Mm -hmm. And he was also apologetic. He said, I just played a role where I was a sleazy car salesman. He was in, <laughs> <laughs> he was in uh, True Lives, uh, with Schwarzenegger, uh, before that. Uh, but no, the, the movie, over, if I took it from the big picture, stand back and, and mm. look at it, and not pick out technical errors, if you will, uh, it certainly told, I thought very well, a story of uh, people in trouble with challenges that were uh, met by this team. Uh, working, working together to get them back home. Uh, now the team was larger than what could be portrayed, and I complained about that. About the, uh, should have been a few more characters. And Ron Howard set me straight and said, "Well, he said, you know, a movie you only got a couple of hours. You can only develop so many characters mm -hmm. in that time. So we had to pick like one flight director. But there were four flight directors in the mission, four teams." So Gene looked the most colorful, I think. So <laughs> Gene, Gene got picked as the flight director to play up in that uh, in that movie, and uh, so you know that that's that's the way it went. Now they exaggerated some things. Uh, first of all, my throw up, I did not, <laughs> I did not vomit uh, like a like Hollywood display. That, still. Uh, but no, they, they, we did two manual maneuvers on the way back and they thought that was unusual uh, because, uh, you know, it was done without computers. And uh, so they thought they'd play that in there and they, of course, exaggerated and had the earth going up and down the window. Uh, looking at the post-flight data, I think our big, biggest deviation was about a less than a degree in any axis on two currents, which are very short. One was, I think, 18 seconds, a little lower. The other one was like 21 seconds. So you couldn't really get off very far uh, in that time anyway. So, you know, they did that to add drama. They had a crew argument that did not happen. Mm. If I had been in position, rather than putting away stuff from a TV show we had just staged, I would have thrown the switches that caused the electric short in the oxygen tank. Just so sat Jack was up there all along. So he was asked to so-called stir the cryos, and that uh, resulted in the, uh, the electric uh, short and the uh, start of our problems. But uh, so they, you know, they dramatized that. There was no way of knowing before you threw the switches, looking at any, any instruments, what was gonna happen. So there, there were things like that that were added, uh, call it for drama. Ron Howard, when I complained about that, he said, well, he said, NASA gave me all this information and they gave me all the air to ground transmissions for the whole mission. He said, I listened to all of that. He said, it never seemed to me like you ever had a problem. <laughs> 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 so he said, you know, we had to put some of that stuff in there to humanize you. <laughs> 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 